I wanted to thank Glowforge for sponsoring this video. Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm excited to be working in my Scrappy Spiral Notebook. I've worked in my Scrappy Spiral Notebook for a while, so I wanted to share this layout with you. I'm going to be documenting a few photos of my daughter and I baking Mahmoud cookies for our Eid holiday. Because I don't have a lot of embellishments that represents our Eid holiday, I decided to use my Glowforge to create my own. And this is why I love my Glowforge, as it makes the process so much easier and it helps you create your own embellishments for your layouts. Once I'm done adding my journaling to one of the boxes, I'm actually gonna jump right into creating my own title and embellishments with the Glowforge app. And once it's ready, all I have to do is press on that print button on my Glowforge and the Glowforge does all the work for me. For today's layout, I'm gonna be using some proof grade wood veneer. I like to stick to the proof grade just because it automatically sets the settings for you and you don't have to worry about bring out the settings yourself. But also the wood veneer is thin enough that it doesn't add a lot of bulk to your pages, which I really love. And it's sticky back, so that's even an extra plus for me, just because you don't have to use glue and tape and all that stuff, if, especially if you're working on something very intricate. You don't have to worry about like adding the glue in certain spots on your project. Anyways, I am just going to let the Glowforge do its thing and cut out all of the embellishments for me. And once it's done, all I have to do is grab that sheet of proof grade wood veneer and start removing the top layer, which is a protective layer on all their proof grade material. I've never had a problem removing that layer off of my embellishments, but I have seen people use tweezers. Some people use some tape to remove the whole thing off of your embellishment. But for me, my fingers have worked fine and I was always able to remove that top layer from my material. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing that top layer so I can see my beautiful wood veneer and everything fit really nicely in my boxes. I did measure uh, through the app and it's very easy to use the app to measure your titles and your embellishments and kind of see how they're gonna fit into your layout. And like I mentioned earlier, the wood veneers has a sticky backing, so I can just peel it off and add it to my layout. I love how my cookies turned out, but I do wanna add a little something to my box. So I'm gonna end up stamping holiday right in the center and just add the cookies around it. Now my cookies looked kind of bare because they didn't have crumbs. So what I decided to do was stick down the cookies and then just draw out my own crumbs. I could have totally made crumbs using my Glowforge, but I totally forgot about it. So I'm just gonna basically do it the old fashioned way and use a pen and marker. That I have all my crumbs drawn out, I can start sticking down my title, which I created with my Glowforge. I want to fill out that empty box. I felt like it needed a different color, something to brighten up my layout. So I'm going to actually use a stamp set, stamp Eid Mubarak in Arabic with some yellow ink and add a few stars around it just to bring in a different color and to help my embellishments pop. I love that yellow against the wood veneer. It just fit perfectly. I decided to stamp out my stars or the outline of my stars with black ink and then use the yellow ink to color them in just to give it more definition. And that way they kind of stand out a little bit. I also wanted to add a little something to my top left corner photo. It had a lot of white space, so I decided to just grab some sticker paper, stamp perfection, trim it out and use it as an embellishment just to fill in that space. And then I call my layout done. Don't forget you can grab your own Glowforge from your local Michaels or Joanne. I will be adding all the links for everything I shared and used down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, 
please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!